print email Facebook Twitter more giant Jade Buddha with wow factor arrives at new Bush Stupa home after challenging pilgrimage from Canada a giant Buddha carved from a single piece of Jade has taken pride of place inside the great Stupa of universal compassion in central Victoria. The Stupa, a sacred Buddhist monument, stands 50 metres high and 50 metres wide at its base, making it the largest of its type in the Western world. Rising up from the central Victorian bush, the $20 million building includes the 2.5 metre high, 4-ton Buddha car from a massive boulder of nephrite jade found in the Yukon in the far northwest of Canada. The Buddha arrived after visiting 135 cities across 21 countries and an estimated audience of 11 million people on a fundraising and awareness tour. It was unpacked from its ship in Crete and placed upon an alabaster throne. Chairman of the Great Stupa, Ian Green, said the Buddha was really about inspiring people. Wanna make a big Buddha? The Buddha's story began 18 years ago on the Arctic Circle where an 18-ton boulder of nephrite jade was discovered by miners. It was dubbed Polar Pride because it was in the polar region and it was like the pride of the region, Mr. Green said. Rather than sell it to someone who would turn it into bangles they waited for the right person to come along and turn it into something special. The project gained momentum when Mr. Green received a phone call from an unknown American. He sounded like somebody from one of the dude movies. He's hey man, we wanna make a big Buddha, Mr. Green recalled of the initial phone conversation. The call was from a jeweler and a devout Buddhist, Cheyenne Sun Hill who had it in his heart to turn the enormous boulder into a Buddha. After a trip to Canada to inspect the find, Mr. Green consulted with his main teacher, Lama Zoparin Poche, who decided the boulder was to become a Buddha, a holy object to offer the world. If my spiritual master asks me to do something I'll do it, Mr. Green said. Finding Buddhism leads to establishing center The former advertising executive had found Buddhism on a trip to India in the 1970s. Despite the fun and excitement of working in a creative industry, the long lunches, drinking and girlfriends took their toll, Mr. Green said. I got to a stage after going through that whole exercise, just like burning the candle at both ends and I thought I've got to do something about my life or I'll end up dying at a very young age and for really what point, he said. A trip to India proved the panacea. He was struck by the country's spirituality. This is the thing that is missing from my life, the thing I'd searched for all my life, tried to forget but now I can't, he said. It made Australia look very materialistic. He returned to Melbourne and was on the lookout for a quiet country retreat when his father offered him 50 acres in Myers Flat, near Bendigo. Over the past 38 years, the Buddhist centre had spread to over 210 acres and includes a monastery, a retreat centre and an interfaith peace garden. There are also plans to create a school and an aged care facility. A little town that runs on Buddhist values of harmony and cooperation and, you know, peace but that also runs on the grounds of sustainability, Mr. Green said. Former doctor turned Buddhist monk, and now director of the monastery at the Great Stupa, Thubton Gyasto, said the draw card with the wow factor was ultimately about connecting people to Buddhist teachings. It doesn't matter whether the Buddha is made out of jade or wood or as the Tibetan hammers often say, even if it's made out of kaka, feces, same thing. Shape is so important, he said. The crash throughout the world tour, Mr. Green's devout Buddhist philosophies had been handy. The sheer weight and size of the statue meant there were some logistical challenges to transporting the statue across the globe. Boats, trucks, cranes and a floating pontoon were involved. Four containers were used in total with one of them involved in a road accident. The truck driver was driving along, trying to be very careful, looked away then at the very last minute saw a truck in front of him. He swerved and the whole container fell on its side with the Buddha in it and skidded along the road at 85 kmh, Mr. Green said. He remained philosophical. Anything worthwhile will have its difficulties. I believe the more worthwhile it is the more difficulties you have. So then you just have to work to overcome them.